Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ducky Wenzel Comedy Network. Thank you so much for checking us out today. If this is your first time, please head over to our social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at backslash Ducky Wenzel Comedy. And with that said, on to the podcast. Now introducing Wenzel's Funny Form. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Wenzel's Funny Farm, a podcast about a family, and I am your host, Stuck, and today I am here with... Um, your dad, I'm Pop Paul <laughs> Wenzel! <laughs> Who the hell do you think I am? <laughs> the youngest two are my sons, this is my son Eric. Yes, and we got Uncle Eric. Might as well be. Paul Paul Wenzel, Uncle Eric, I guess. And what is Wenzel's Funny Farm? It's a podcast where we talk about... Funny shit, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it's about yet. Evidently, mom's not allowed to listen to it. I don't know why dad keeps saying that. (laughs) That's key for listening to it, mom. (laughs) Well, I just gotta be good. Why do you have to be good? (laughs) Well, she knows what I'm like, but she don't really want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? She can't really shut me up. I'll I'll, I'll be, you know, just David, you know. So how high are you, dad? I am so... Just David. Stone right now. Yeah. But uh, you call me? Just I called you Dad. <laughs> <laughs> he called you David. I heard Dave, man, from just, somewhere. Just All right, we're playing a game called How High is Dad? I am really stoned. I, I've smoked a lot of grass. The good thing is I have no pain. You know, does make me really lazy. <laughs> but that helps keep down pain. All right, let's play a game called You Ain't Liz. So what is You Ain't Liz? It's a storytelling game about music. So you're going to pick your favorite song and tell a story associated with it. So I'll begin by telling a story, and then we'll play a clip of the song. So whenever I was a teenager, I had to go to summer school. My brother Matt had to take me, and we would listen to the Goldfinger album and chill in the car all day. It but, wasn't my idea to send you to summer school. But it wasn't? No, it would have been your mom's. Yeah. Don't blame it on me. I wasn't mad about it to begin with. Well, you seem to be very upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get everything uh, here and clear. Okay, go ahead. So I was at summer school, and every day Matt would wake up in the morning and be pissed off that he had to take him to summer school. He'd be ranting and raving, and he'd be like, what the fuck? Why do we have to get up this early? Fuck this, fuck that, you know. Then we'd get in the car, and he would put on the first track of the Goldfinger album. And he'd be like, yeah, this is my jam. Yeah, this is good stuff. And it made him happy. I and don't so, know it. Oh, we're going to play it. So, okay. So what I would do is, like, yeah. the whole way to school, we would listen to that, and Matt would go 20, 30 miles over the speed limit the whole way there. And it was just a blast listening dick, to music, speeding. Dick the whole way, man. Yeah, it was so it, He fun. just wanted to be a dick. The whole way. <laughs> <laughs> something, something. Yeah, yeah, something. Why didn't you drive him? What the hell do you know you say as you turn your face right back to me? What the hell do you know you say like some righteous man better than me? Well, I'm down and you're killing me and I'm down, but still you mean nothing to me. Said you get in the car and he'd snap this on. Yeah. And I know what kind of fucking speakers he had. That yeah. would blow your head off. <laughs> Boy, and you wanted to go to summer school? No wonder you're fucked up. Okay, Eric, your turn. Pick a song and tell a story. Nah, that was a good song. I like that song. That was a good song. All right. I, yeah, I don't know. Pick, I'll let you pick for me. No. You seem like you know me. Excuse me. Yes. Chairman of the board. Uh-huh. You know we're really stunned. It's not that hard to pick not a song. Not him. He's drunk. I'm stunned. All right. What song? Every song has a story. You can't just 
Put it down to one song, man, and have one story. Hey. They all have a story, and sometimes they come together, the story, because you listen to two songs or an album, and next thing you know, you got a full fucking book. <laughs> okay, you think I'll give him mine. We'll skip him before I forget the fuck you my are. I got song. a song. All right, go ahead, Dad. Cracker Box Palace. I have it's, never heard that. It's yeah. really old, but it also is a song that we used to go to Conneaut and ride the ultimate trip. I've rode it with my girlfriends and then... Your girlfriends? Yeah. How many girlfriends do you have? Yeah. Just one. Oh, okay. It did sound like just <laughs> girlfriends. I ain't never heard just I one before. I have my more. bitches. And yeah, it just got hoes. brings back <laughs> a lot of memories. Because when we was in that, it was a scrambler in a building with lights and loud music right. and nine chances out of ten in that day you would get that song played really? cracker box palace you don't talk yeah. about other women other than my mom just <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking after i said it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you best learn boy i'm going to tell her <laughs> yeah mike just race gonna... me in <laughs> That was a good story. How many girls did you take again? One. Was it my mother? <laughs> yep. Now do you know how to spell it? Cracker Box Palace. I was not expecting you. That's not how it goes, is it? Yeah, it is. All right, I've never heard that song, Eric. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Over uh, and over. Yeah, over and over and over. And over. over. Yeah. Do you remember? I thought about getting it tattooed on me. I've heard enough times. <laughs> Do you remember going riding Alderman Trip? That was in Conneaut? Yeah, I remember riding that. Yeah, and they played the loud music. We were out of time, man. I was, you got to remember, this was back in the I 80s. wish they would have played, like, Break Stop by Limp Biscuit in that fucker, because <laughs> well, she would have got wild. Yeah. I'll tell you the one that... We was at another amusement park. It was another dark ride that you... It was like a... Oh... Never rode one of those. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of it. <laughs> what was it? He, what you can't see is my dad is but, waving his hand around like yeah, a roller coaster. Yeah, he can yeah. feel it all right, but yeah. he can't explain the Music ride. Express. Ooh. Inside of a big building, it, yeah. but it's bigger than a music It's Express. a Kennywood, right? No, no, that was at Del Grosso. No. They had one. Well, they did too, but the one at Knoebels, we rode it like 40 times. They're fun. Came. We had a ball in there. But the one that got the most attention is when they started singing Baby Shark. And the crowd just went wild. All the people on there singing Baby Shark. I wish I'd have had a camera. As in Baby Shark do 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 do? Yes. crazy and waving their hands yeah in the air. it was awesome and the lights were blinking anything better would have been if i'd have been smoking dope back in but uh, no i hadn't found that pain relief yet what do you think eric what the fuck <laughs> when we was young lads we used to hide in the back of the station wagon <laughs> laid out blankets over us and 
dad and mom would go to the drive-in, well, then they didn't have to pay for extra people because we was in the back <laughs> all covered up. Well, some people went to extremes. They, they got into trunks. We never did trunks. I mean, my dad may have thought about it, but he never put us in the trunk. <laughs> But he did put us in the back of the station wagon. We could hide back in there. Then when we got in there, then everybody got up, and we got an extra snack gonna, from the snack <laughs> bar. I'm going to do that with my kids, too. But, because they hide them in the back seat and tell them to cover up and stuff. Because they charge by the car, car load anyways, you know, so they get in anyway. But for them, it'll be exciting. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah. <laughs> We fucked the drive-in, we <laughs> fucked the drive-in. I'll pick another song. All right, go for it. The Lion it? Sleeps Tonight. Oh, when we were kids, yes. you used to play that, yes. and we would dance around the living room and have a blast, and Mike Mike was the one who would always be like, See, I like the song, but there's a story to it. You have to Why? have the pickle. If you don't have the pickle, you can't sing the song. Wrong song. Rock and roll fantasy. No, no. I love rock and roll. It was, yeah. Just take those old records off Off the the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. I sit and listen to them by myself. Hey, I forgot what I was talking about. You were talking about the Lion Sleeps Tonight. Oh, yeah. The reason that it got played by your mom and your grandma and so loud was before any of your kids were born donna wanted me out of bed mom and donna come up with turn that song on super loud to get me out of bed <laughs> what oh i was mad mad <laughs> in an old wet hen i wasn't ready to get up i used to sleep a lot and usually on saturday i wanted to sleep till about 10 or 11. Right. Well, they seem to think the world started earlier than that. I don't know. I can never did get used to getting that up in the early in the morning shit. And when you say that, nine o'clock's getting up pretty early. <laughs> so they would come in and jam out to the line sleeps tonight. Well, they would turn the stereo on one night in the living room. As in they. Yeah, Grandma Wentz and my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your mom, not yeah. my mom. Yeah, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my Whoa. mom and your mom. <laughs> you could confuse a guy here, you know. So they would play it super loud to wake your ass up. Yeah, get me out of bed. Wow. So I would get up. And that worked every time? Yeah, but then I usually was bitchy. And then Donna would come in. and Every time he heard the song, he'd go to hard on. Because wow. <laughs> he had morning wood. <laughs> well, yeah. Usually I, I got a lot of happy oh, endings. Oh, you sick bastard. Why would you talk like that? Well, I'm just being honest. These guys tell me not to lie. You're tired of no it. No one has said uh, that. But now, Have you ever told him not to lie? No. I've I never said that. Tell him the truth all safe. the fucking time. No one has said that to you. You cannot be honest with a woman and stay with her to be 61 years old. Mom's listening to this. I don't really care. It's the truth. Okay. <laughs> Your mom comes out, and we're going to go to the store. And she don't dress up, and she asks me, do I look nice? What do you want me to say? She looks beautiful. I ought to get me some brownie points. <laughs> All right, well, here's the light. See you tonight. <laughs>
That reminds oh, me of another song. <laughs> a Barney song. All right, what's the Barney song? I don't know. Get away from me, little bumblebee. <laughs> Oh, Mike, don't mess with it. How'd that go? Don't get oh, sun, Jesus just stay Christ away from me. Look at the sun. Oh. I'm running from the oh, baby bumblebee. Bumble <laughs> <laughs> oh, bumble oh, bumble I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby <laughs> that was reckless. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what did I miss? It was reckless. It was a damn bumblebee. I it was so literally bad. in here. He batted it. This guy's nuts. I thought we were having a podcast, man. Well, no, first we had a gym, Bob. Then hit you in the face with it. Then this damn bumblebee's in here. Well, maybe you're just being a little violent. No, yeah, I'm not mean to. Well, you're trying to, to you're trying to stick the bumble or the gym bug on me. You thought it was gonna bite me. I don't know where it went. You're trying Let's to transform. Uh, they would have bite. I watched you train it to bite. Them son of a gun stick to you. No, you trained it to bite. I seen you do it. I watched it. Whatever. What's your song? Last chance song. No, I got a song picked out, but I don't want to tell you. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man, I don't like the way pressure. Come on, man. All the cool kids are doing it. Well, I wrote the name of the song with that, so I didn't forget it during Mike's reckless rampage. <laughs> hey. Jeez, man. All the cool kids are doing it. All right, what do you got, Eric? Do you guys really want to know? Yes. All right, play some Blood Money, Bon Jovi. I used to always listen to this with Dad in the truck. With the bass and stuff like that, that he had too in his truck, that he was bitching about Matt. Oh, yeah, Bon Jovi, Blood Money. Uh, yeah. I don't like that song, man. Isn't that the one? I want my. Nah, that's not Bon Jovi. And who's that? Meatloaf. Oh, I was it? I want my money back. Yeah, that nah, ain't the song. Don't pick that song yet, man. Don't do it. Alright, you didn't. We're good uh, shape. It's meatloaf. Yeah, life is a lemon and I want my money back. Right there is the story. What's the story? I I never knew that he was talking about money. That he wanted his money back. I always thought he wanted his bunny back. <laughs> that was just me being very young and innocent and not realizing that people got pissed about money issues. <laughs> like, so, yeah. I want my bunny back. Yeah, I don't know why I assume somebody out of grudge ever. Well, somebody <laughs> still in a rabbit at that age because I was pretty young, but I... Well, yeah, I can tell you the I story. It was Laura. Okay. She kept losing her bunnies and stuff, and and finally I heard the song, and I said, Laura, there's your song. You want your bunnies back. Is that how it <laughs> And went? she got mad at me, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was my <laughs> carper. She'd get really upset with me. Yeah. And mom would yell at me. Wow. You're teasing yeah. about her dead fucking rabbits. What <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care as long as she got another one to love. <laughs> Elmira. <laughs> yeah, that's what we used to call her. Yeah, Little. she did go through a lot of bunnies. Yeah, she went through a lot of bunnies. You went Luckily, through a lot of Chesters. Had. Why are you judging me? I had Chester's. Holy mac, every cat you got looked the same. You called it Chester. It was took me out one time. Fuck the cat. It was called me. I did settle on him when he was a baby. Yeah, I remember it. No, you don't. You were a baby. Fuck, I don't. That was a traumatic moment (laughs) in my life. Broke your collar. You button. say that I don't remember it. Yeah, you say that. How do you? Yeah, how do you, you remember? You were like eight months old. No, yeah, no. You just keep saying what you think. I don't remember. I remember. I do remember <laughs> that. It was funny. I thought you were a baby doll. I thought you were one of Laura's toys. So I said, "Don't." What? what? I, I, did, did my head feel like a porcelain head when I was a baby or something? I fucked you up for no. life. No. Why would yeah. your mom? Yeah, you lay partially you crushed on the me. Couch? I don't know. Because that's what we did back in. I'm not judging. He was younger than he eight said. months old. He was pretty newborn. I, f- I jumped on him. Yeah, hey, he I put I, some stank well, on it. I just, was like, boom. Just, just so you know. <laughs> that's I the closest you probably ever got your tongue up in this year <laughs> You sick bastard. <laughs> Why do you got to make everything sexual? I don't really remember it. You don't remember? I thought you said you did. <laughs> I do, but he's adding some detail that I don't remember. I thought he sat softly on me. Or I no, really I jumped. Him. Oh, no, he jumped. He plopped. I plopped. He plopped, plopped. plopped everyone. But he got off real quick. Luckily, this spring... <laughs> yeah, that saves me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Oh, my God. I'm, because I'm, of the tug up the ass? I'm having a strike. <laughs> oh. You Don't okay? Don't start that again. <laughs> he got himself all warmed up. Now he's starting. Oh, no. Maybe you better just not laugh during this <laughs> podcast, buddy. <laughs> that was funny. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> it's all right. On to the next thing. Yeah. What does anyone else have any songs? I got another song. Thanks to you, Mike, and you, Doc. Okay. Why are you mad about it? Because I'm not happy at all. Mike, what was that fucking Resident Evil theme track you played in your car that one time? It was the Resident Evil theme track. Yeah, was it? The first one? Uh, was there more than one? I don't know. Yeah, it is actually a Resident Evil soundtrack. Yeah, what was what? it? Do you remember? It's the movie theme. This song, I remember because I screamed and cried and screamed and cried and screamed and cried until he turned the motherfucker <laughs> off because I was scared to fucking death because <laughs> of you fucking guys and your bullshit. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you we say? You would always turn it on when you were trying to get a piece of ass, ducko. <laughs> Mike would turn it on just to fuck with people and scare me because he knew I didn't like it. He's like, Eric, check this out. <laughs> Play, loudspeakers, bass and everything. I love it. Oh, Eric. I ain't scared of it now. Oh, yeah, you are. No, you go fuck You're going to be fucking play out it. of here. I ain't scared of it. Yeah, okay. Fucking play it. like five and listen to this and you're listening to this and it's freaking you out fucking right yeah (laughs) this was back in the 2000s dude this ain't this new fucking everybody scares the shit out of their kids as soon as they come out of the womb shit like what i I don't know kids are not as sensitive to things as what they were when we were kids so they scared the shit out of you yeah uh dad at first you were like nah it's not scary and then you were like yeah i get it yeah i get it yeah, I'd have been five. I don't know. Duck, you're the one who made Dad watch sci-fi channels so I couldn't watch my show. That's true. I did. I guess there just wasn't that kind of music back this ain't, then. So. No, it wasn't like I pissed my pants or anything that scary. It just slightly frightened that I cried. 
Yeah. You remember that emotion? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I forgive you just so you I don't know. remember playing that to get you out of the room. That's awesome. You didn't play that to get me out of the room. You said I did. No, no, no. You'd just be like, I'm, you just put I'd it on. I'd say Resident I was going to play Resident Evil, yeah. Yeah, then you'd put it on. Which, to this day, is still a pretty creepy-ass game to play. Yeah. If you go back and play the original one. Just like the cutscenes for the fucking stairways and for the doors and shit. They've held... I thought you yeah. said he put it on and he went boogity boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that remembers, boogity boo. <laughs> boogity boo. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dad, it's you scary. finish it off, Dad. You, you picked the last song. Shout All right, I got one. I'll finish it off. Shout okay, so when we were kids, Dad would listen to this one song all the time on Sunday morning, and he would play it for us. What we would do is we'd all gather around the record player, and Dad had all these vinyl records, and he would go through his 45s and his whatever else it's called, and he'd put them on, and he would play them for us. But there's one specific song it sticks with me every Sunday. It's called Take Those Kids to Sunday School. Yep. Live by the Golden Room. Get out of bed and take them. Yeah. Don't send those kids to Sunday School. Go right along with the Golden Room. Do everything that a daddy would do and get out of bed and take them. Some boys are cruel. Boys. That's right. Some boys are bad. That's right, too. Don't let them feel forsaken. Listen, dude, if you can't find it, you can always put on Mississippi Squirrel by Ray Stevens. Everybody loves that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. That brings back a lot of... All right, but Eric brought up a good point. If you can't find it, you got to play the greatest non-Christian church song of all time. Yeah. The song that when we were kids, Dad had a VHS of a little-known artist called Ray Stevens. And we used to watch those videos back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. And they were hilarious. Yeah. And one of them was called the Mississippi Squirrel Revival. It was awesome. Well, it also reminded me a lot of the Mm -hmm. church that we went to at the time. Because your mom, she would have grabbed me by the ear and drugged me around. She was a little spitfire. Well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi. Visit my granny and her antebellum work. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, free as a song. One day, I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoebox and punched a couple holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him into church. I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh. When that squirrel got loose, went totally berserk. What happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, some thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all, the squirrel ran up Harv Newland's coveralls. And Harv leaped to his feet and said, something's got a hold on me. Yeah! The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in a sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out. Hallelujah. I like that bullshit music. <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of music. All yeah. right, well, that has yeah, been anymore. the first episode of Winston's Funny Farm. Did it go okay? Yes, everything went okay on my end here. I definitely appreciate you having us on your show there, young son. It's and not my show, it's our show. Well. Thanks, buddy. What the hell? <laughs> what did you I thought you were the chairman. It was your show. Yeah. No, it's our show. No, no, no. The way you talked to us earlier sounded like this is a one-man crew. No. Well, he it's said everybody. he was chairman, didn't he? Yeah. I, I just said I'm the host. There. I'm the host. Oh, host. What's the, a host? That's Same the person thing who as a guides warden. it. Oh. Yeah, it's the same thing as a warden, as he said. Okay. That's our program, man. We can, we can say wherever the fuck we want, man. Your mother's not going to appreciate that, son. We can say wherever we want, man. Okay. Was that better? Well, for your mom, I'd like to have a little cleaned up. Maybe bleep <laughs> out or warped or something. Sir, we can say whatever we want. All right, with that said, I'm Duck. 
And this has been... Wenzel Funny Farm. Yes, Wenzel's Funny Farm. Wenzel Funny Farm. And there it is. Thank you so much for checking out the Podcast Network today. If you enjoyed it, head over to our social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at backslash Ducky Wenzel Comedy. And with that said, we will see you on the next one.